here and I have Buddy with me. For this video, we're going to be working on our loose leash walking. All right. I have a hard time believing that Buddy's a puller, but you never know. So when you guys are out on your walk, um, I want to make sure that you give Buddy the whole leash. That way he has a lot of, of um, room to pull if he's going to. So when you guys are out on your walk, let's say Buddy sees another dog. If he starts pulling the leash, you want to wait until it's completely tight. Once the leash is completely tight and he's pulling in that direction, I want you to use the back method. So this one is you put your hand next to your side and you say, buddy, back. I'm going to snap to get his attention and I'm going to have my body lower to the ground because he's going to automatically think that I have a treat. Good boy. Now we don't use treats in the loose leash walking. As soon as he comes back, then that's the treat. We get to continue walking. So, yeah, good boy. So if Buddy's out and we're pulling and he's pulling really, really hard, let's say he sees, sees a really cute girl dog and he's pulling really hard in her direction, I'm going to say, Buddy, back. And he's going to automatically come back. Because he thinks I have a treat. As soon as he stops pulling and that leash is loose again, then we can continue walking. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Now, um, there is another way that um, you can do loose leash walking. Instead of having, instead of planting your feet and stopping and bringing him back with the snap and the, and the um, promise of a treat, you're going to actually turn 180 degrees and do it this way. So there's the stop and back method, and then there's also the this way. So let's pretend Buddy and I are on our walk. Come on, Buddy. Let's go for a walk. And he starts pulling really, really hard in one direction. As soon as he starts pulling, I'm going to automatically turn 180 degrees. And I'm going to walk the other way. And I'm going to say, Buddy, this way. And this is showing Buddy that I'm the alpha dog and I get to lead the walk. Buddy doesn't lead the walk. I get to lead the walk. And I get to decide which direction we're going. So he can sniff around and everything as long as he's not pulling. As soon as he starts pulling, I either bring him back with the back method, or I switch directions and say, buddy, this way. And he's going to follow me because, one, my voice sounds excited, plus, two, I'm going in opposite direction, and he needs to follow me because with the leash, hey, we're connected. Good boy. Buddy, this way. Good boy. Good boy. So after using these two methods, the back method and the this way method, after you use it for a while, they get so used to it that you don't even need to have them on a leash to do it. You can actually be in the house, and let's say that they're on the couch or something, you can say, this way, and they're going to jump off the couch and come with you. Um, my dog likes to do it all the time. <laughs> um, we'll be in the house, and as soon as I say, this way, he comes and follows me because he knows I'm the, I'm the alpha dog, and he needs to follow me because wherever I'm going, something good's going to happen. Good boy. Come here. Good boy, buddy. So if you're out walking and Buddy pulls really bad, which I doubt he's a puller, but you never know. So if he pulls really bad, either plant your feet and stop and bring him back, or turn 180 degrees and go the opposite direction. Tell him this way. So there's the back with the snap, and then there's also the this way when you're turning 180 degrees, okay? So practice those two on your walks. You want to make sure that Buddy doesn't pull when you're on a walk because if he starts to pull, you need to do one of one of the other um, of the of the ways to do it because otherwise he's going to think that every time you're out, he can pull. Now the automatic thing that people want to do as soon as their dog pulls is they want to pull him back. Try to refrain from that automatic reaction and pulling them back because they almost think it's a game. Almost like tug of war where you pull one direction, they're going to pull the opposite direction. So if you pull, a lot of times they're going to pull even harder trying to get you to go their way. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't do that. Do either the stop and back or change directions and tell Buddy this way. That way he can follow you. Okay? Try to do a walk at least once a day, working on the loose leash walking, and I think that'll help a lot if Buddy is tending to pull, okay? So this is Stephanie and Buddy, and we were working on our loose leash walking. <laughs>